Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Friday in the week of the second Sunday of Easter. It's Father Wynn here and I've got my Peruvian coffee cup. We don't have any lesser feast or fast today, so we will go right into our breathing. Let's uh, begin by taking a few deep conscious breaths. Once again, it's helpful to, if you can, to breathe in through your nose, to pause between the in-breath and the out-breath, and then to just allow your out-breath to be released. And as you breathe in to allow your mind to scan over the night, whether it was restful or restless, whether you had dreams, how you felt when you woke up, the events of today ahead, the people you're concerned about. All this we can draw up with our in-breath, pause, and then let it go. Letting it go into the breath of God. God's breath that fills us and surrounds us. We can let go of today into God's hands. God who lives the heart of, wor of our world, God who embraces our universe and receives all that we are. So we'll begin on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer, page 80 with the invitatory. And then we'll go right to page 82 and do the Venite, preceded and followed by the Easter Anaphon. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is full of compassion. I'm sorry, that was the Lenten antiphon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The psalm reading for today is Psalm 16, which is found in your prayer book on page 599. Psalm 16 on 599. 
I'll take a sip of coffee while you find your place. Protect me, O Lord, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good among all others. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble and among the people. But those who run after false gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libation of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body shall also rest in hope. For you will show me, you will not abandon me to the grave. Nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for today is John 16, verses 1 through 15. Jesus said, I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so, they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say to these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I'm going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment about sin because they do not believe in me about righteousness because I'm going to the Father and you will see me no more about judgment because the ruler of this world has been condemned I still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. 
all that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The response is the second song of Isaiah, Canticle 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for the Second Sunday of Easter. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On page 99 of the prayer book, the Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A collect for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. A personal prayer in the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, help me to do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. And finally, a prayer for our time. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbor as ourself and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. 
in this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and of your love. For your mercy's sake, amen. In our prayers this morning, we pray for Sally Ward, Jim Tanner, Glenn Jones, Robin Lee, Carolyn Moneymaker, Tom Grant, Norwood, Sarah McLaughlin, Beth Corliss, Virginia Marshall, and all health care workers and those who support health care. And I pray for Deb O'Neill Lewis, a chaplain for Sentara, and all chaplains who are offering comfort and care for those with COVID-19 and their families. We remember today those who will be delivering our mail and packages or our groceries. We pray, Lord, for your protective spirit to be around them. We pray for the repose of the soul of Hector Luis Muñiz, uncle of Junito Rodriguez. We remember Mike Hart, who is here from his home in Massachusetts, where his wife and children are, and who has been very ill in Norfolk while working here. Uh, he is uh, doing better from what I hear, but we are keeping in touch with him. So remember Mike and his family. And we remember those of our parish facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Stephen Blythe, Dana Coltrin, Phil Davey, Laura Keenan, Georgia Kennison, Caden Keenig, Bob Latimer, Charlie Riddle, Mark Sayers, Kenneth Spink, B.J. Taylor, Ann Trailer, Cliff Inge, Mike Hart, and Sandy Rutecki. We remember Jesse and Maria in isolation in Rome. We remember Susan who is receiving chemo for breast cancer. We remember all who suffer hunger, who are out of work and face tremendous financial anxiety. And we pray for the pediatric residents at CHKD and all residents who are on the front lines Lord, we pray that you keep them safe. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Hope you all have a beautiful day. Remember that you belong, we belong together, and we're walking together. And whether or not you are a member of Christ in St. Luke's, whenever you click into this, you are part of the family, and we are praying for you. God bless you all on this Friday.